to another episode of Side Quests, the show where we play one shots and mini campaigns of small and indie RPGs. Today we'll be playing Cottage Critters by Hunter Cherist of Neoth Games. Cottage Critters is a no prep, rules light, GMless RPG that I first noticed because of its super cute cover art. Gameplay is based on the buddy system by Jessica Markham. Uh, for our second episode of Cottage Critters, a cozy little game where we all play little woodland creatures uh, living and working together, uh, I am once again joined by Andrew and Crystal. Hi. 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 All right, who wants to, and I think it should be Crystal, roll a d6 to see what our scene is I will for do it. tonight's episode. We'll do that thing. We'll do that thing nine times. Uh, only two, whatever that is. You rolled a two, and we add one because we have done one scene so far, so we get a three. And our, our three is a large troop stops by your house. What danger are they expecting? I just think that we have to, I just keep wrapping it up with Root in my head. Like well, some soldier yeah. troop from them. We uh, we kind of purposefully, accidentally decided that this was the same world. But also uh, decades, if not a century later. Uh, I was um, like, what if we meet ourselves? Then what would we do? <laughs> Roderick, King Roderick is, is very, oh, very yeah. old. No, we have a new king. Uh, the new president king. <laughs> new president uh, king. <laughs> Thank you, children. <laughs> um, cool. So where do we want to set the scene? It's so vague. Yeah, like just it is a troop. Vague. A troop. That's it. That's all we yeah. got. Well, we with the last one, which was uh, hearing the voice of an ancestor, we ended up with a, a book. Um, so it's... Uh, it, it could be the fire brigade. It could be the volunteer the army. Fire brigade. Yeah, sure. It could be the like I don't know the volunteer uh, pest control. I don't pest know. It could be whatever we want. Hmm. You could explore that. No, don't do pest control. We're all animals. Well, like <laughs> like insect control. There's a wasp's nest. Wasps are so useful and. But you have to find a story public spaces. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> what? <laughs> if there's a new wasp nest in one of our public spaces, that could be dangerous for the people living down here. Okay. But it, I was, I was just coming up with something. It could be anything. No, that's a good. That's good. I mean, there's always a bad guy, right? There can be like the bad bugs that are in town. That we gotta. <laughs> the bad bugs are in town. <laughs> bad bugs. <laughs> <laughs> They're so smug. <laughs> Their leather jackets. Uh, Those bed bugs. So a large troop. Um, what were the troops in route? Were they lizards, cats? I don't remember birds. There was uh, yes. there was a faction led by cats. There was one led by birds. Um, there was the Woodland Alliance, who were everybody right. um, so anything we want yep. well I think we're I think we're in uh, Clover's garden yeah my favorite place to be what are you growing well wait what season is it um depends on what you're growing <laughs> all right <laughs> what am I growing what color do I want right now? Some Coreopsis, some marigolds. Got some nice sunny colors, orange and yellow flowers. I bet you can you can eat the marigolds, right? Yeah. We should we should do something. To, uh, maybe put them in a. They make a beautiful garnish on a salad. Do Love that. Salads. Yeah, sure. Uh, some nasturtium does the same. It has a little peppery taste. You need that peppery. do i spot some cone flowers back there yeah are you gonna make us some tea yeah do you mind if i dig up one of them the roots yeah i've got tons do you want yellow or purple <laughs> purple's uh traditional 
Greed, also my favorite. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I can. I'm gonna start digging here. Ernest, where are you? I'm. I'm over here. You all like talking about eating the the salads and greens again, and just. What's your favorite food? Uh, you know the good stuff. I, 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 I'm a bit distracted. There's a large group of people over there heading this way. Huh. What, what do they look like? Well, it's kind of a cloud of dust right now. Like, like a group. Ooh. Or something that rides a group. Is it hard to see? I could get my bumblebee friends to go scoop it out for us. Oh, okay. You have bumblebee not, friends? Obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Learn something new about you every day, Clover. I can't have all this without being friends with the bees. She does the and honey, too. Yeah, well, I knew the honey. I just didn't think of bumblebees as uh, honey friends. They just make ground honey. It's just different. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I guess I would have to be creative and think about how to summon how my, how this looks. Do you like pull out a kazoo and start buzzing? <laughs> no, no, a didgeridoo. A didgeridoo. <laughs> a didgeridoo. Pull out my kazoo. <laughs> that sounds like That's me. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> they like come up out of a hole in the ground. Yeah, they do a little like air show, like a little formation. Hey guys, Ernest sees something weird over there. It's really hard Can to check miss. it out. <laughs> it's so good. And then they go and they check it out, and I don't know what they're going to see. Is that for me to decide? Who decides that? Yeah. What do you oh. What do you think they're coming here for? Maybe they're just passing through. That would be nice. I I don't I don't think our town needs a whole storm of marching people to land here. Well, I'm sure Barnaby and some of the others would love the business. Oh, that's a good. Point. They just sort of make me nervous. I mean, we haven't we haven't had any war or anything in a long time. Okay. I hope they're not soldiers. Maybe they're, I, maybe they're friendly. You, you're the one who said uh, something that rhymes with group. I, yeah. I assumed you meant troop. Right. I, Traditionally. Maybe uh, a troop of minstrels or... Uh, oh. Ooh, that'd be nice. Like a band. Yeah. Maybe. I hope it's that. Can it be that? <laughs> well, I, I guess we'll find out. They are getting I closer. <laughs> I don't know how to decide. Uh, you hear the buzzing as the, the bee comes back. Oh, guys, what'd you see? Does, <laughs> does Clover know all the bees' names? <laughs> even though they don't speak English? <laughs> um... No, because there are thousands of them, but there are a few that represent their kind that she knows and has named. And who is this? Um. Oh man, I was gonna say Barnaby. That's about it's taken. Mm, yeah, um, Barnaby's a uh, a big guy. I could steal from Beatrix Potter and call it Babbity Bumble. But that's stealing. Uh, Are they named after their favorite flowers? Just like all my other characters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby's breath bumble. Blue bonnet. Blue bonnet. Okay. Follow up question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are you are buzzing at them, but are you also like dancing while you do it? Because that's no. how bees communicate. <laughs> And no, it, they like, understand. Dances me. back at you. Okay. They can hear me, and they have ears, and they understand. But do you understand them? Yeah, it's magic. You don't have to understand. 
How do you know what they're saying? I have really good ears. They're quite large. Or ears, sorry, you drew them down. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbits can pick up sounds from very far away. So okay. what are those? Or what are very they sound up close like? and tiny. Like, you, can't you hear them? Like bees. No, the bees. Yeah, like, but there's a whole group. What are they saying? Like you're hearing the thing. Like what? Are... Oh, what are they saying? Yeah. That's different from how do they sound? Focus, <laughs> Clover. <laughs> it looks like they. All, all I'm hearing is that they don't look very scary, and there is about. 30 of them people and they're all for a second just i thought you were gonna say there were 40 and then i thought they were gonna be 20. <laughs> <laughs> i was having a hard time hearing them it Got took it. a second 30, 30 of them that's quite a bit and they all look like they belong in or they all are wearing the same thing but they seem to not be soldiery what what is that oh oh like a like a traveling circus or something? I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump up here. <laughs> yep. Nope, not soldiers. What do you see? Actors? Tractors? <laughs> Actors. Actors, yeah. That's what I was that's what I was missing in translation. They've got some carts. They've got looks like Something hmm. about a loot. At least <laughs> two. Some minstrels. Well, I'm looks excited. Like we're Maybe in we'll for put a on a show. show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! A two loot circus. <laughs> Got it. Guess I better go put on some clothes. <laughs> oh, goodness. We talked about this, Orin. Orin? <laughs> you told me I needed to be outside. This pail's not going away. Yeah. <laughs> I can't decide on, like, what are the cultural rules of clothing among these animal people? It's clearly fine. <laughs> it's clearly fine. <laughs> but also weird. It's weird, <laughs> yet we didn't bat an eye when we did it in the library. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll meet you uh, in the main thoroughfare. Give me about ten Should minutes. We, do you need help putting away the food? No, I've got a basket. I'm I'm good. I'll bring some snacks up. I'll have pockets. Love that about you. Pockets are good. Keep them on. For now. <laughs> Alright, main thoroughfare. Ten minutes. We'll he welcome them. Hops I'll bring off. some flowers. What? He hops off. Hops he off. goes and puts on some clothes and um, grabs some little baked pastries that he made earlier in the day that now that they're now that they're nice and cool. Ernest, they're probably hungry. We should... Here, help me gather some flowers and... Here, gather, put some of those strawberries in this basket. We'll, we'll, we'll be the welcome party. The welcome party? Okay. Ernest finishes... That's what we do here. Finishes jotting down these observations and then picks up some of the strawberries. Puts it in a basket. What's... What What kind of... What, what are the responsibilities of a welcome party? I got strawberries. Friend, friendly. Okay. Uh, let them know that we are cheerful, welcoming, friendly folk. Okay. Who are here to help. And that we're excited about whatever you show. We hope they'll stop here and perform. Oh. And entertain us. Okay. Or, I don't know. We'll get to, do we write know, that on we'll a card? Or do we... Do I shout it? Um, <laughs> Really? I'm just I'm curious. <laughs> you know, you said we're the welcome party. This is the first time I've ever been told to be the welcome party to our our our, our tree. And so, to be honest, the only welcome parties I have ever really experienced are when new neighbors come, and we always baked muffins in a basket and brought them over to say hi and give them something yummy to eat. I think they're gonna be here any minute. I don't think we have time to bake muffins. That's why we're gathering strawberries and flowers to make muffins. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just to say hi, and here's a snack. You must be tired from walking. Okay, Clover. I, I mean, this here's, is making some sense, but not all of it. Here's the so, deal. Yeah. It boils down to treat people the way you want to be treated. Yes. That's all. Okay. I'll follow your lead. If you were walking 
really long somewhere and you're in a new place, what would you want to happen? Well, I don't eat a lot of strawberries. What do you eat? I asked you earlier, you didn't say. Well, it's because I was trying to look at the possible danger that was coming at us. Now that we know they're not a danger, you know. Um, what? What's your favorite food? Morsels and... Um... Morsels? <laughs> Is this because you don't know what weasels really eat in real life? <laughs> I may or may not have the Wikipedia page of what e weasels eat right here, but I don't know that I necessarily want to share the fact that uh, sometimes they you attack eat frogs. Uh, your uh, European hair and eat frogs. And I have friends, <laughs> so I'm trying the best I can. Oh, I love you. Oh, that's great. Snails or fish minnows? Fish, yes. Fish, minnows. fish are on, the, are on the list. So sometimes bird little, eggs, little, right? Little Nobody's a bird here eggs. right now, so nobody's a bird right now. <laughs> yeah, the game didn't account for how do you eat things without eating your neighbors when you're. A you just don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Have some salad, Ernest. Don't worry about it. Okay. Eat a strawberry, bro. This is really delicious. I know, right? I've never had one of these before. You can think. The bee friends. When you see them later. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's get on. Let's get going. All right, right after you. The lippity lippity. The performers are led by a uh, a fox. He's got colorful uh, colorful outfit and a big poofy hat and um what instrument does he have strung across his back the who the like the the one in charge yeah the leader, leader of the fox oh. the leader of the, the fox pack what the leader of the fo the leader of the performers okay it's a it's a drum of some strong. kind i think Ooh, like it's slung across his shoulder like a little C can be Maybe it's behind him right now, but it could at any point. Yeah. Oh, Drop it at any point. Yeah. <laughs> and the welcoming committee. Ahoy there. We brought strawberries. Hello. Strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> we are. You it's must. Flowers. You Happy must be the you. welcoming committee. <laughs> I, I just found out myself. How did you know? See, they knew. They knew. Uh, clearly, yeah. What, what do we we do were next? hoping to uh, set up in your village for a few days, do a few performances each night. <gasps> Wonderful. Welcome to our humble town. It sounds like your people would be uh, uh, amenable to it. Um, where should we set up? We're not dangerous. <laughs> you said Neither that. Neither are we. Why would you say that? Uh, you said that was part of the welcoming committee to let them know that they're safe here. Yes. Right? We're safe here. And we like shows. We have oh, a you're actually sort of... calling yourselves the welcoming committee. No. Yeah. It's an yep. official title I just I just got from Clover. I'm Ernest. Well, wonderful. I have strawberries. We have carts and tents and would like to set up somewhere close by. A few of us Just... don't have tents. If there is an inn, we would uh, love to do some performances. Um, You'll probably talk to Barnaby about that. Yeah. The town square is a... We love having little, like, puppet shows and stuff there. And right on the other side is a big open place where we sometimes have festivals. So you could pitch tents there. But we also have inns that are very hospitable. Fantastic. We have a stage that we would love to set up. Um this will That's be more spot. than just simple puppet shows. We'll be performing some of the, the great plays from yesteryear. Ooh. My name is Benji. Hi, I'm Clover. This is Ernest and Oren. Say hi, Oren. You, you point towards Oren, there's nobody there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see your face, so I think you're here with us. I forget that doesn't work that way. Oh, Orin was putting clothes on. Shh. We like he left before we told him he was a part of the welcoming committee. And Orin's still he's also like, not inside. a part of the official welcoming committee because he's 
Great. He has habits. He's looking, <laughs> looking at, like trying to decide between two pairs of pants. Stripe, so stripes cute. or no stripes. <laughs> Big pockets or little pockets. Big pockets. Big pockets for all the snacks. There's like 30 of them, remember? <laughs> Very good. Does this town have a council, a mayor, elders? We see lots of How governments. Them? We should like to speak with them if possible. Hmm. What noble town doesn't have a governance? Obviously. No, no that's, that's rude. <laughs> yes, we have a mayor also at town hall. We have a mayor? That away. Very good. We will be off. Okay. When, when, how soon do you need, how, how much time until you have a show ready? We would love to perform this evening. Oh, wow. You guys are quick. What pros? Well, we'll look forward to hearing about it. Good luck with everything. Thank you. You are welcomed. <laughs> do you, do you just like welcome every single person? Uh, for everybody, <laughs> a, stra- a single Hello. strawberry until 30 strawberries <laughs> until they're gone. <laughs> well, so cute. they're pretty big, right? Yeah. Big strawberry, like. Yeah. I needed a bigger basket then. <laughs> yeah, that's and a good point. No, they were wood strawberries. Those are tiny. Okay. So they're only like this big. Yeah. yeah. If, to a rabbit head, it's like the size of like my eye. So, so strawberry size. Stress. <laughs> Big it, strawberry it evens size. out. Yeah. It evens out. <sighs> oh, what I miss. Oh, well, we were welcoming. We missed the committee. ten minute meeting time. <laughs> I think I made it. Oh, were they early? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, there's like they they didn't say what they were, but. They, they're going to put on shows. And and there was a fox whose name was Benji. Oh, okay. And he was very um, scholarly. Reaches into his pocket. Snack? Yeah. We gave them strawberries. They weren't on their way really quickly. Well, only enough, enough for us, so. Perfect. What's this concoction? Um, I don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> what is it? It's a, a Danish. Mm. Pastry, some kind of pastry. Because we don't with have Danes. Puff, puff pastry <laughs> <laughs> with cream, strawberry cream inside. Sounds good. And honey. This, is, this actually, tastes like it took a long uh, time to make. Well, it's it's sort of similar to my award award winning pie. At least the interior is. Oh. Oh, it's like a travel version. Uh huh. The one with the mushrooms or the uh, this tastes no, no, no. okay. The, the strawberry. Yeah, one. that makes sense. Thanks, Oren. These are so mm-hmm. good. You definitely deserve more awards. I got more for later. Yay. Uh, Oren, I have a question. Um, uh-huh. They asked about our town council or um, our ruling, and I I know who's in charge of our tree, but do, do you know? Of course I do. Okay. I was just checking. I wanted to make sure. I just sort of pointed them to town hall over there, but yeah, that makes really sense. not my, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Political things. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> Lillian's there right now. Right, um, Lillian. Yeah, the mouse. Yeah. Mouse. The mouse, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mayor, yes. And I see that because on the other Mayor side mouse. I have don't eat. Yes. Don't eat. Madam Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about this. I know. And I remember. Well, th- the thing is, even even mentioning eating people, I know. Kind of a no-no. Yeah, I know. I, I'll be good. I mean, my sensibilities are clearly different than everybody else in town. I eat insects and things like that. Yeah. So, But other people, they don't like it when you talk about that kind of I, stuff. I know. I know. I, 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 get it that's why i have the note we live in a society i i'll behave it's just it's a little different you know it takes some getting used to we're just a little misfit group 
on the edge of society. Or we still don't eat people. Or wear clothes sometimes. It's not required. No. I'm actually very it's warm not. right now. Oh. Well, you know, no do what you gotta do. <laughs> Clover, don't... Don't egg him on. <laughs> we just got him to put clothes back Are you hungry? Eggs? Well, I hope they get that worked out. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, there's a lingering question that I have uh, out, of, out of character. This large troop has stopped by our house. They're expecting some kind of danger. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I definitely forgot that part. Yeah, that's part of it. I, I completely forgot that. We have to, we have to think that. about that. Oh, man. It says they are... Ex- what's the words exactly? A large troop stops by your house. What danger are they expecting? Oh. Well, er- Ernest told them that we're not Cannibalism. dangerous. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're, we're not dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> he specifically said, we're not dangerous. Yeah, which seems suspicious. <laughs> Look, not all of them were big foxes. And I can't eat any of the people in town, and I now understand the conflict of the story. Just feel free to recap. What is that? The, the conflict is that we now have to find somebody for <laughs> Ernest to eat. Is that our story? No. Trying to find food for him? No. <laughs> okay. I'm gullible, so I'll believe you. <laughs> They are expecting danger. Is it because they've heard something about us, or is it like chasing them? I don't know. Like they're running away from danger that's on their heels. We'll find out. Or, I mean, they're really? enacting troops, so Ow. they're probably constantly in danger of starving. <laughs> starving artists, yeah. <laughs> the danger they're expecting is to not be paid. Yeah, I kind of wondered. I was like, how are they going to let the whole town know when the showtime is and what? How much money to bring and all the logistics that are so boring and not important. Well, there are 30 of them, so at least one of them can go out with posters. <laughs> That's true. That's a lot of people. They've they probably got some, the town. some kids with them who can do do stuff Heart to wheels. get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. Thanks. We started out in the, in the garden. Mm-hmm. What would we... What would Clover normally do after um, picking all the stuff to make dyes with? Tending to the bees. Maybe, I mean, boring garden stuff like gather honey or start a dye pot and boil stuff. Let's do it. That's like cooking, right? Yeah. I'd probably be good at this. It's definitely like cooking. Well, let's, let's give it a go. Okay. Uh, can you can you instruct me a little bit? Yeah, we we're gonna gather. What what's that? We're gonna roll dice. Oh, I forgot game. that's a thing. Yeah, it's part of the game. I just feel like it's it would be boring for other people, but I think it's fun. So we get our big die vat, and mm-hmm. if we want to make a bunch of stuff, we get the really heavy one, and you can help me carry it. Here's yeah, the it's one. like making soup. Yep, take it to the fire spot. Outside, definitely outside. Okay. And we fill it with water. We'll just assume it was already full of water. It's already full of water. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, the river's right there. So. Yeah. Uh, Ernest, can you make us a fire? Yeah, of course I, I can make a fire. I assume that's part of this. This is, this is cooking, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can gather the wood and then I can make that wood catch on fire. I know all about that's this. That's the hard part. Yeah. No, I got it. I can do it. I haven't any skill for it, so sneakily, I will use <laughs> a match. What did we use we to make do it. light in we the just do it. earlier? I don't have to roll for making fire. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, we had land. We had a lantern or something. Yeah, had a couple of those. Got a right, match. So we got the yeah. We got the pot on the fire. Now what? 
we are going to throw in a bunch of leaves. We need a bunch. But I have a big bundle already saved here. Is, so just throw them in. That's the fun part. It, we don't measure them? No. That's, the, that's oh, what's really fun. What about precision? It's not food. Okay. So the, if you say so. It, it's an art with some science. Uh, how we're this today? We're gonna make like a green dye, which is kind of hard to do. So, what do you want? A dark, strong green, or just a really light pale green? You get to decide. Well, I my name actually means uh, light pale green one. So let's go with the pale green. Easy. So just let's see. Our pot's like this big. Just throw in a little, like like. Three handfuls. That's it? Well, uh, <laughs> can we make it a little more yellow, maybe? Yeah. Here. We've got some of these flowers, and that will help. The marigolds their... from earlier? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to roll cooking. <laughs> okay. Do you want Do you want to roll herbology to help? Yeah, I do. Cool. That's How good. do I do Cause that? Because I'm not rolling very many. Um, figure out what number is next to herbology and roll that many dice. You told me I didn't have to have the thing pulled up. Oh, <laughs> you have to have the thing pulled up. Well, well these are the, the numbers, numbers I wrote important. down. Oh, the numbers I wrote down. Yeah. That's different. Okay. I have that somewhere on a different page ages ago. Andrew, how difficult is it? Moderate, challenging, or improbable? Is mm. herb a uh, four? I have a four. Wow, you get to roll four dice. This is challenging. That's helpful, right? Making die okay. and not cooking and measuring. Um, sure. right? Sure. Who gets to decide that? Well, apparently, I do. Now, right. we get an extra die if we're at our at our cottage. Do you think we're at our cottage, being just outside it? Yeah. yeah, we just sort of met them in the road and then went yeah. back to my place. Okay, I got one success. We need a, a five or a six as a success. Oh, well, I have two fives, one six and a four. Perfect. We did it. It's uh, beautiful. Uh, this, is, this is a nice green. What are we going to do with this? Well, that's the great thing. And... Sometimes I don't really plan ahead, and I just make a bunch of stuff because it's really fun, and then I figure it out later, and that's why I have a wall full of covered cloth that hasn't yet been used. So, basically, we just stick whatever cloth we want in the pot. You got some clothes you want to dye? Some, so. Wow, I can... <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, no, yep, no. No, no. That's some... exactly... <laughs> I see. Uh, uh-huh. I walked into that one. <laughs> I was thinking like some bar towels. Well, I didn't Maybe. bring anything. Of course, just the thing on your back. What color was your coat already? How about how about these? He rolls up his no. pants. <laughs> I want my socks. Okay, that's better than what I thought you were gonna do. <laughs> like a little white box of shorts or something. <laughs> well, what are those? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we did, we did get a mishap. So, uh, How? Andrew, why don't you, well, I rolled a one. Uh, why don't you roll on our mishap table? I also rolled a one. Whatever you were attempting goes wrong and makes the situation worse. What happens to my socks? Say what it, what it, read the thing again. Whatever you were attempting goes wrong and makes the situation worse. We got a beautiful green dye. I don't know. Mm. I don't know how it's going to react to whatever my socks are made out of. It'll shrink them. That I mean, you can't like. It's not like a life or death situation here. So, what's the worst that could happen? So we we, we catch the lawn on fire. We make the dye. We we dip orange socks in. We wait for them to to get dyed, and then when they're done, they're this big. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm well, sorry. Well, those are very small. I forgot to ask you uh, what they were made of. Oh, they're wool. Ah. 
Yeah, that'll do it. Well, it's okay. It was hot anyway. I guess these would be nice trivets. Oh, look at you being creative. Yeah. I mean, sure. you might be able to fit one on each, like, toe. Do you have more socks? <laughs> no, I don't. I figured. You don't have more socks? Oh, no. I only, Maybe I don't that... have that many clothes. Do you keep losing them? Just leaving them places? No, I just don't need them when I'm at home. I see. Well, I have a lot of cloth. We can make you some new socks another day. Great. Well, and I'm going to, like, I'm, and she goes and rummages and comes back and gives you a bundle of greenish cloth and says keep this and we'll make you some socks later or talk to the seamstress okay on me thanks <laughs> it's fun showing somebody else how to do this yeah i'll uh, come help out with it again if if you'll have me of course ernest do you want to stick anything in the pot i was uh, curious if blue bonnet wanted the the socks now it's like a nice little sleeping bag that's so sweet. But I don't speak. I'd probably fit them. I'm sure she could use some thing woolly in her nest. Okay, yeah, we can we can donate these. That's fine. Yeah. You weren't wearing them anyway, or, or and we all know. I feel better without them anyway. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> My mom did make them though. Oh. Oh, I was wondering why you had them on anyway. <laughs> like if you're warm, she was why a are you proponent for clothing. Was oh. said it was. Uh, civilized. Don't know that I agree, but anyway. <laughs> well, the show's going to be starting soon. Mm. We've really got to get there quick if we want some good I seats. I, I hear them warming up. Oh well, yeah, I can hear some like bandstand music. This is going to be great. Who's that? Let's go. What? Over Is there, on the road. Who is that? I don't know. I don't recognize him. Do you see? I actually don't see them anymore. What? What did you see? I thought I saw a person. Well, let's... We're the welcome committee. <laughs> let's walk up the road and say hi. <laughs> I'll get the strawberries. <laughs> well, that's just... Well, sure. Like, it could just be a neighbor wandering down, taking a walk. I want to hop up the road unless one of you stops me and thinks better of it because she's not super thoughtful like that. When you're leaving this outfit, we'll just be right behind you. Or leave those on. No. Keep the guests. Didn't think I needed my apron, but okay. Smart to wear an apron while dyeing stuff, but yeah, you don't have to keep that on now. I'm putting the the dye vat away. Cool I... thing, you can save it for later and huh. reheat it up and start new things. Great. I don't see anybody out here. Behind the tree, over there. Is that where you saw them? I like by the tree. I like... thought I saw them just walking on the road, but near the edge of the road. I don't. I don't. I don't believe in ghosts. Did it look like a person with wings, or they maybe just flew away? Oh. I didn't see any wings. Well, we should get back to the show. All right. I'm a little bummed that we're not going to give away these strawberries, but... I snag one and find it. <laughs> yep, don't no. mind if I do. For the welcoming committee. I feel so and welcome. you're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ha ha. Let's go find a good seat at the, the show. Yeah. Do you know any of the the plays of old? Will you recognize some of the things they're gonna they might perform? They said they'll they'll they do plays of old, like classics. That's a, that's a good question. Oh learned one. I mean there might be good old <laughs> omelet and 
Uh, I mean, that's the one that I read. Okay. All right. Good old... well, I'm looking forward to omelet. I've never heard of that one. Yeah. Well, it's a story about like an egg that like wants to grow into a full bird, but then like his uncle bird is mean or something. I it's hard to read. It's it was written a long time ago. Um, I guess we'll get a refresher. All right. Here for the first time. All right, well, uh, some seats over there. Yeah. There, uh, oh, the lights are going down. All right. Just in time. Just in case. <laughs> is it a good play? Yeah, Clover, is it a good play? Uh, we could make it interesting and say, like, oh, it seems like a good play, but I don't know. Something about the actors, they kept kind of seeming like something was getting to them tonight. They seem a little stiff or like that one guy kept looking over his shoulder kind of weird. That was weird. I did notice that. Do you think well, they we should just go out uh, their cues or? During intermission, we should go like yeah. see how they're doing. Yeah, we're, we're, welcoming. we're just like whispering this. Real oh, of course. Uh -huh. I'm, I forget my whisper voice. Nice musical number. Yeah. I like the dancing. I think, <laughs> I, I, I think the hedgehog said it's uh, we'll be back in ten. So Okay. It's, uh, so are we going uh, are we trying to get back to Everybody's getting up. Okay. Let's go backstage. Where it's like it's a, like, there's an actual back of the stage. And there, there's some the snacks there. over there too. No, we should go backstage. Yeah. I still got more strawberries. We'll be alright for now. I'm sure there's something left in your pockets. Let's go. What, what kind of animal do you run into? Do we run into? Do we want it to be Benji again? Or someone else? Who's the person, the one who was looking over their shoulder? Um, I'm not thinking of animals. A newt. A newt. Newt. Can they be out of water? Right sure. Now? A newt named Newton. <laughs> uh, fennel. 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 Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, I, hey there. Hi, we welcomed some of, we, we were the ones that welcomed your troop when you first walked in town earlier. We've been enjoying your show. Ah, uh, yes, with the strawberries. Oh, yes. you gave them, that was, that's nice. Yeah, the strawberries. They're tasty, yes. How are you enjoying the show? I... <laughs> As I said, it's been really great, but we noticed Maybe, so the story and everything has been great, but a couple of people up there looked like, like maybe something was bothering some of you. Are So we thought we'd come see how y'all are doing tonight. But are you critics? You're supposed no. to tell us no, no, if no, you're no. critics. Do, do, you, <laughs> do you write for a paper? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm the head chef around here. The head chef? Oh, okay. A connoisseur. Uh, my, my friend here runs the, the library and she, she does the garden. Okay. Just the gardening. Yeah, just the gardening stuff. Spend a lot Maybe of time critiquing out. plays and performances, do you? No. We were the welcoming party, so we just wanted you to feel welcome, and it just mm -hmm, seemed like mm -hmm. maybe something was bothering a few of you. How are you feeling tonight? I, I mean, we did feel welcome. That was nice, yes. We're putting on a, a, a great performance. Yes, you are. Yeah, absolutely. No negative reviews here. None to be found. Well, all right. Yeah. Um. Break a leg. Uh, that uh, would hurt. Or two. Okay. Bye. <laughs> You've been very helpful. I have. Very helpful. 
Yeah. Thank you. And entertaining. Ah. Uh, so entertaining. I do like to hear that. Those positive Here. reviews. <laughs> you know. You know what uh, really uh, helps with the voice. What? It's a snack. Oh. Don't criticize I've, his voice. Is there something wrong with my voice? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Hey. Uh, never, fine. Never, never mind. Okay. You didn't hey, want. You hey, didn't want this apricot it, pastry. No, it's fine. No, no, no. Since since it's intermission and we all get to go get snacks, Orin here wanted to bring you some of his delicious pastries. Because you guys have been working so hard, I bet you need snacks too. We're not supposed to bring food up on the stage. Backstage, eat it real quick if you want, yeah. or save it for okay. later. Okay. Just a friendly. Here you go. Just, just don't tell. Don't tell Benji. Why not? Well, he's really strict about that kind of stuff. You know, share what all the food, put on a good show. Oh yeah. All of that. Well, Warren, do you have a basket for the whole troop we could leave backstage for the, everybody to share all the food? Do I look like I have a basket? You got like there's like thirty of us. There's a lot of pocket. He has a lot of pockets. I have two pockets on my belt and one on my apron. Oh, I really thought there were a lot more pockets. <laughs> I wore the pants with no pockets today. Well, you sir were the lucky first person we ran into. Enjoy your pastry. Yes, yeah, stop or. Or give it to Benji. No, Stop down, just don't tell downstairs. Benji. It'll be great. Stop downstairs at the kitchen and I can get you some more stuff. Okay. Later. After party! They no, should all come over! That's too many no. people. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, it is nice Boop. to make new friends. Yeah! I. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I hear. Work out the friendliness. <laughs> okay, I have to rehearse my next part, so. It was, it was nice we'll meeting you. We'll see you out there. Bye. Wow, that guy really didn't want to tell us why he seemed nervous. Maybe they're really just scared of bad reviews. Maybe that's it. Do you think but that mysterious actors. figure I saw earlier is a reviewer? Ooh, they can be kind of shady. Hide. That's a good idea what are we talking about where were you i were you the concession stand when just now we were talking we to this newt a newt trying to oh, see he why he seemed nervous and we didn't get anywhere didn't get anywhere? all i did was lose the pastry i got popcorn so i would like are... to share some very large popcorn kernels. Yeah. You only got like three of them? Well, they're like the size of the face, so. <laughs> <laughs> the size of the face. Jumbo? Huh? It was a jumbo popcorn. I'll just take a little. Oh no. Wait. So uh, I guess it's starting up again. Yeah, let's go find a seat. We don't want to try to run into anybody else backstage and see what their problem was? Oh, I think that, that that's going to... That somebody's on... But, the, the hedgehog is back up there. Oh, okay. I'm going to sit right here next to this person I don't recognize. <laughs> They've got a little book like I do. I want to be taking notes in the middle of a play, though. Oh, maybe he is taking notes. Yeah. Sir, uh, it's, it's, it's a little rude to be writing like that during a uh, performance. Just mind your own business. This is my town. This is my business. These are my guests. Oh. Well, I'll just scoot over here then. Return peek at what this person's writing. Is that a challenge? I don't know. It's Seems dark. Like one. I'm not going to win. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to roll one die. Why, why only one? Because that's the default. <laughs> it's the default. Oh. Ernest right. would help they you. They don't make it He's very winnable. And alert. Okay. You're going to help with a sneak? Gonna help the sneak. So that means Who's Crystal has to tell sneak? us how difficult this is. Do what do, what do. How how difficult is it to see what this person is writing? 
I mean, if you're sitting right next to him, I think you got a glimpse. I don't think it's that hard to see a few words. It is dark. Can't frogs see at night? That's true. We did establish that last time. <laughs> yeah. Moderate, challenging, or improbable? Moderate. Okay. All right. Oh, and we're at is home. Is that the best option is moderate? Yep. There's not an easy? There's it no easy. It happens if it's game. easy. Yeah. We should fix that. Uh... You should take your extra die for being at home. I've got it. I'm okay. rolling sneaky. Mm-mm. Nope. Did you roll any ones? I did. Yeah, me too. Great. Hey, Crystal, roll another die. I get to roll one? Uh-huh. Yeah. Why? Because we have a mishap. Because something bad happened. Just, I didn't know, just game-wise, the rules. Anybody can roll one? Yeah. Okay. Five. Oh. Isn't that good? Oh, my. It doesn't doesn't feel good. Why isn't five good? It's weird. Why wouldn't five be good? It's high. The next time we fall asleep, we are plagued with strange nightmares. Well, dreams are real. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we catch a glimpse of what this person's writing. <laughs> Not enough to actually read it, but enough to be horrified. <laughs> Sheesh. This play's not that bad, is it? I, I, I think so. I, it, maybe it's going to turn into one of those tragedies in the second act. I, I, I'm, I, I don't consider myself a critic, but I feel like I would know if this was that bad. I, it would be obvious, what right? What did you see? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. It's very mean. Oh. Very mean. Enough to make... A grown, a grown frog cry. Oh. Uh, you're oh. crying in front of us right now, aren't you, Ari? I'm a toad. Yes. Right. Not a grown <laughs> frog. <laughs> I meant metaphorically. You're... No, I'm, gonna... I'm, I'm sorry. I, I misspoke. Well, we, we should really treat these people nice while they're here, because... If that's any indication... They... They might not be welcome at the next town they go to. Okay. Oh. So we're throwing an uh, after party? Or are we stealing that notebook? What were yeah. you thinking about a party? Well, I, no, I'm, I like Horan's idea. I'm not a fan of parties. I was just parties. curious. I could cook for one, but I'm not hosting. I mean, well, since I we was, were the welcoming you're weaselly. Committee, I thought that maybe we'd like throw a welcome party for like a in the, the thing but but Orin is like way more to the point I like that and this is way up your alley Mr. Weasel what? Was all I resemble that remark and yeah it's kind of offensive good one. apt no but you're literally a weasel and good at sneaking and taking I, I didn't get a good look at the <laughs> one of the people in the row behind me. below he's like shh <laughs> So embarrassed at my forgetfulness. <laughs> right, he's thinking, okay. Um, Ernest, you can do it when he sticks it back in his pocket. You just pretend you're getting up to get some snacks and go in the row behind him. Nobody's back there, and you pickpocket him. Uh, or, Orin. Also, it's dark. Yeah, it, it is dark, but like, play to our strengths, right? Like, you're sneaky. I'm I'm sneaky. Yes, I mean, we've established. I could give him a donut. You could give him a donut, or if he's not from here, Orin, he might not know your thing. Which is a good distraction. <laughs> I'll just say that I'm part. Oh, my thing. Yeah. You're just gonna flash it. <laughs> is that really my thing? I don't know, but we kind of talked about it earlier, and it's just I, it is. Am I known for? I mean, just amongst us. I, it it's happens a lot. Time. But I, I usually have a reason. Well, yeah. But it still it like stands being out. Hot That's all I'm or saying. Or swimming. Or any other reason, it seems. It, You're hot a lot. That's all I mean. It, I, I don't mean anything b- bad by it. I just. Ernest, we're friends with Warren. We don't make our friends feel bad about who they are. Uh, okay. Sorry. 
not what I meant. It's just my thing is supposed to be cooking, baking. Yeah, he's gotten awards in it. I know, I was the there. Words. The mushroom it was delicious. And then I heard about the strawberry. Anyway. So yes, a There's donut. Applause as the play finishes. <laughs> <laughs> we missed the end. <laughs> That was amazing. I assume. Uh, encore. All right, we don't want him to get out of here without us doing something useful. <laughs> Sir, I'm part of the welcoming committee in this town, and I don't recognize you. That's a Welcome. Oh, okay. Hi. Here's a cupcake. Thank you. I guess. Weird town. Uh, so is Ernest not going to pickpocket the notes? I mean, Ernest can try and pickpocket the notes, but what does Clover want to do? This is this is a clear distraction. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, because if he's not, because he seemed against it, I'm going to jump in and try and possibly very fail. All right. <laughs> I'm very very sneaky. <laughs> I'm helping with baking. Yes. You are helping. Are you helping, Clover? I, yeah. Roll some dice. And roll different dice than the ones that I've rolled. That rolled um, the exact same We also same need to know how thing. difficult. Right, because then we get to roll again. All right. Um, so let's pretend he stuck it in his back pocket. I think it's at least challenging. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. So what do you do? We need challenge? three successes. I got one. How many do I get to roll? Pick a, one. Pick what a are thing. you doing? I don't know. Um... I think I want to try to do something to make him, like, bend over. <laughs> like, oh, sir, I'm so sorry. I just kicked some mud on your shoe. <laughs> or no, your shoelace is untied, I think. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> so he so might digging? try to fix it. Digging. Kicking mud on the shoe? I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I prob it's probably not a skill I have. You're rolling two dice. <laughs> two? I get two, mm -hmm. not just one. We're at home. Awesome. I got a six and a four. That's two, including mine. What did you roll, Andrew? A four, a three, and a one. That's a failure. Yep. I also rolled a one. Now we're really going to have strange nightmares. Did you get another five? I got another five. What? He, well, he stands and we see him for the first time. And he's a scary mongoose. He's, he's some sort of scary animal. Mongooses are scary. Do mongooses I live around here? I resembled that remark. What? Hold That's on. true. What else is scary? An alligator snapping turtle. Is it, oh, he could be an alligator snapping turtle. I'll take that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> and Orin. Yeah. Orin's gone. Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's it's too, scary. <laughs> too scary. Too <laughs> scary. Yeah, that makes sense. So wait, what did he just say? Oh, excuse me. Turns and goes. Sure. Ernest is following Orin. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know any better. My strength is trusting. So We're also going to have nightmares tonight. But I don't know that yet. <laughs> no, but, also, but Clover is frightened by this, this person. Oh, okay. So what, we just leave? Guess, I guess they're getting a bad review. Did anybody get the book? Nope. Did you see the look on his face? Did you see how tall he was? Yeah, I. <laughs> he, he was massive. I have dreams about that face. He did not look that tall. No, originally. We should have. We should have welcomed him somewhere into like a, a public space with light. Like, I, like. I I tried a, a cupcake. Yeah. You did. Try. Didn't work. I feel like I could have gotten the more out of him, but y'all kept you, you took me with you and we ran away. Now what do we do? Try to have pleasant dreams. And, 
and, and treat these fine people to a good night because they're going to need it. Yeah. All right. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to coordinate with Barnaby. And we're going to we're going to we're going to do something tonight. I mean, that's the least we could do. Yeah. Why don't you go talk to Benji? I'd love to. He seemed so nice. Yeah. Uh, so Oren goes down into the, the cellars to go uh, have me talk to myself in private. <laughs> Off screen. Off screen. So, uh, Clover, we, we're just going to go invite Benji to the party now, right? Yes. Do you have a party ready to? That's what Oren's doing right now. To? Like we're the welcome. He's invited at the tap root. At yeah. the tap root. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I just don't catch all the plans. Misunderstood I know, that, for a second. That turtle guy was tall. I get it. Like yes, I got uh-huh. that. So we're done with him, but we're gonna go talk to yes. Benji because Oren, yes. we we're gonna welcome committee party the heck out of, of these people because it at Barnaby's it place, might be the last the time bar? they perform. Barnaby's bar. They they may be done after tonight, so it's a wrap. Like, yeah, let's just make him feel good. So let's go. Let's go talk to Benji. Okay. And while we're walking to Benji, do you think we should? Is there like something we can do to help change their fate? Like, we need a plan. We can't just let somebody disparage them and ruin their careers. I mean, what's a librarian and a guardian and a cook gar- garden gardener? And a cook. I like the sound of that. I am the guardian of flowers. Of yes, the gardening. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, sometimes it's just all a matter of perspective. You know, maybe maybe we got it all wrong, and they just the troop needs to feel good, and we got a party, and we'll invite them to the party. All right. So we meet them while they're gathering up their props backstage. Hello. Did you enjoy the show? Benji, it was so great. We haven't had good theater like that in a long time. I'm so glad y'all came through. Oh, Fennel was a bit off. In the second act, at least. But other than that, I think this we pulled this one off without a hitch. The oh. the props department was perfect tonight. They were... I really liked the props. The waves? Said, Did you enjoy the waves moving back and forth? So cool. Tomorrow's really show has a sailing ship in it. You'll see the waves again, but boats. It's very exciting. We wanted to invite you to the local bar. Barnaby's got the best stuff. Oh. Um, And a little after party. Well, that sounds fantastic. A big after party. To make sure you look. Let the rest of the performers know then? Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But real quick, um, you mentioned fennel. And I just, I feel like I should be honest. And we might have, we might have um, thrown him off a little. We met him at intermission. And we wanted to just see how everybody was doing backstage since we were enjoying the first act. And we offered him food and he seemed to think that was a bad idea. Fem- I don't, and was really worried about critiques, but we weren't, we weren't critics. But he was worried about it. Between you and I, Fennel's always a little bit off in the second act. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we have some great mocktails at the at Barnaby's too. Maybe he could get in on that. Critics, <laughs> bah, we don't need them. We perform because we love it. Aww. And if it really anybody from to... your town wants to join our act, see the the countryside perform nightly events at all the towns in the area. We make a circuit. We'll be back about this time next year. Wow. We've just added this town to our to our circuit. I'm so glad you wanted to stop again. It was a good performance. Uh, everybody here has been very friendly and welcoming. Thanks again to the uh, welcoming committee. Not all towns have one of those, you know. Oh. What's your next stop? Uh... Beaversville. 
It's just on the other side of the river. Mm -hmm. Have you been there? Of course it is. Have you been there before? We have. We added them as a stop last summer. Oh, good. I assume they really enjoyed your shows last year. They are fairly critical about our ship, so we won't be bringing that one to the stage this year. But other than that, they are quite good. Oh, good. Then Then who cares if anybody says anything otherwise? Yes. Yeah, as they say in Beaverdale, Beaverville, who gives a damn? <laughs> I might have come up with that. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, everybody. I set up the thing. You bring all the people down to the tap root. Uh, big party. I got to go cook some stuff. Oh, come on, Orange. You... Come with us. I got to go cook some stuff for the party. Do you need any help? Um, well, I've got some stuff that's been simmering for a few hours now, I think. I, I can come yeah. practice cutting potatoes. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. Not again. Not again. All right, all right. I don't tell you how to write a book. You don't tell me how to make a stew. I wasn't saying. I was just offering to help. Just being um, friendly, or Just remembering the last time. Okay. Well, we don't always have to remember the last time. I'll see you in the tap route. All right, I'll be there shortly. Let's go, Clover. Where are we going? To the tap route, to the party. Okay, I didn't know and if we had to Ernest get supplies or something. Ernest hooks his arm under Clover's and they march into the tap route to enjoy the festivities. Everybody has a great time. Oh, good. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if there's an evil critic out there that gives everyone bad dreams. And we have nightmares. We have nightmares that night. Unsettling nightmares. About a giant looming presence Who wants critiquing to kill everything we fun. do. <laughs> critiquing everything, yes. The end. The end. <laughs> That's not a happy ending. We didn't earn a happy ending. We kept rolling failures. Oh, failed everything. Stupid, stupid dice. <laughs> I got good numbers. I don't know what happened. Clover did great. You rolled good numbers. Clover's story was great. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another episode of Side Quests. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check the links in the description to find more about uh, Cottage Critters and get a copy for yourself. Visit our Discord to join our community of RPG fans. It is a great place. You will not regret it. Thank you to all of our Patreon patrons and to Andrew and Crystal for playing with me tonight. If people want to hear more uh, from YouTube, where can they find you? You can find us at various podcasts, mostly uh, partnered with Mark, but our stuff is over at DiceyCantina.com or on social media at DiceyCantina. Excellent. That's it. That's it. Bye. 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 Come hang out on Discord. Bye.